Hey, what's going on everybody? This is hole number six of the Sunset Ruins Tournament Master Division Qualifying Round. For our tee shot, we're gonna use a rock level nine and we're gonna start off with a katana ball. Stretching out to max extension, we're gonna have our white ring touching the rough on the left-hand side. Then I'm going to apply max topspin with three left spin and swap over to a Kingslayer. Our adjustment is wind minus 0.4, so I'm going to adjust 8.9 rings. Then I'm going to apply max overpower, which will be a slow needle with max left curl. We hit perfect. Ball is gonna land in the first fairway, bounce over the rough into the Next fairway, and we're gonna roll out for a drive distance of 400 yards. For our approach shot, we're gonna use a sniper level 10. First thing we're gonna do is check our distance from the hole by performing a white ring bunker check. So placing the top of our white ring uh, against the bunker at two different points. So the 10 o'clock and two o'clock position, we are at plus six yards. Then I'm going to apply two backspin with one right spin and position myself on the fairway pad with the tip of the ball guide to the hole. My adjustment is wind minus 0.4, so I'm going to adjust 9.6 rings. Then we're going to apply circle break underpower. Make sure you do not forget the underpower, otherwise you will probably land in the rough and end up in the bunker. So circle break underpower, hit perfect. Ball's gonna land on the fairway pad, bounce over the bunker, and then roll up onto the green, and we're gonna miss slightly right, about a half a cup outside. Speed's really good, but we're slightly under adjusted, so a little bit more on the adjustment, and then I think we can be hopefully in the cup for the Albatross. For further instructions on how to play this hole, make sure you guys click the link below and subscribe to Master Tournament Guides through Golf Class Tommy. Good luck in your qualifying rounds.